Hey grown folks, this is Donna Smith, your hostess with the most is back at you with another grown folk topic and discussion. You know, I, I had to go there. This question was just brought to me and it made me just want to put this out here in video form because it's so real. It's happening today. It's such a big thing with most women women accepting this and a lot of men expecting this. And what I mean by that is there is women of today, some, who are not afraid of being the side chick. It's like it's the acceptable norm, let's say. Acceptable norm. If a man has someone and he's connected and he's in that situation and he's tied into it and stuck like glue, Women are more accepting of being the second, third party outside of that relationship. Now, some women have said that they prefer it this way because they do not want emotional attachment to a man at this time. They just want a man to A, be good to them. B, uh, take them to nice places. Uh, C, be good in the bed. Be available most of the time that they need them to be. And just take care of her. But she does not want the attachment that the woman at home has. The woman that's dealing with the reality of the situation. You know, the one who's rearing the children, the one who's paying the bills, the one who's going through his moves and his swings and his good days and his bad and his, you know, his sloppiness and, you know, his fussiness and all of that. That woman at home has the weights and the pressures and the reality of life. That woman on the outside, on the other side of the fence, she has the magical uh, fabrication of, I don't know, Cinderella and, and Prince whoever. Because when they get together, it's not about the weights of life. It's about the weights of fun, pleasure, mixing, mingling, laughing, uh, going out and enjoying each other and knowing that after the fact... You're going your way and I'm going mine until we get together again. So, I say all this to say, is this the status, quote unquote, norm today? Is it accepted more today than it was, say, five, ten years ago? Or is it just... Women are doing it because there's a shortage. There's a shortage of men and, you know, if she wants that fella, she wants him. And the stories that's being told to tangle her in the web is just way out there. I mean, the wife at home is sick terminally and they can't go anywhere because they need to stick around. There's a big insurance policy. They want to be able to collect. They don't want to live. They, they leave. The kids um, are not 18 yet. So I need to stay at home and make sure everything is cool with their situation and direction before I leave. That will make me as a man feel better. Um, not knowing that or, or not even considering that you could still be a man and a father and outside of the home. And, and do less damage to that child than being at home and living in a dysfunctional environment. Hmm. 
Think about that one. So, back to what I was saying. Women seem to be more accepting of this. Why? Why is it okay now? Why is it okay to be the woman number two or the woman number three? Because sometimes there's a third one too. And if you do end up coming together and being with this fella, will you trust him? Will you trust him if he does, and is very slim, but if he does, leave her? Because if he leaves her and comes to you, who's to say he won't leave you and go to her? Whoever that her may be out there. So, again, I ask, why are women allowing this? Because just like men, women, we're all the same as far as a person will only do what you allow them to do to you. If you allow them to use you, you will be used. If you allow them to cheat on you, you will be cheated on. If you allow them to leave and come back and be all up in your mix yet again to leave you again, <laughs> whose fault is that? So it gets to a point where is it, you know, you have to ask, is it because the self-esteem is low that women are more accepting of this? Is it because there is a shortage of men that the women are more accepting of this? Or is it because some women are just plain tired of being emotionally trapped in a situation with a man and hurt over and over and over again? So with her being empowered to be able to say, this is what I'm going to do for now. But when I've had enough of you, bye-bye, boo-boo. Does that make her feel more empowered? You know, more in control because her emotions is in check. She's doing him the way a lot of men do women. I use you for what I need, when I need it, how I need it, why I need it, and then I don't need you no more until I need it again. Hmm. That's something to think about. So, with women doing this, could it be that they are being a little bit more hmm, smarter in their technique, in their approach to the situation by dealing with the man who is tied up and tangled up with someone else that they know that they just may never have as their own but perhaps in the back of their mind without letting it be known they don't ever want to have him in that way let the wife be bothered with all that let her have the weights of of all the the, the reality let her miss out on the dates and the, the fancy flowers and the whining and dining and things of that nature and the hot passionate sex because he's tired at home with trying to be creative because of all the weights of life and children and money and things of that nature. Most of the time he doesn't even have enough in him to want to have sex with her. That's just one of the things. So when he's with this other woman and free to say, hey, man, for a moment, for a weekend, for a night, for a few hours, I don't have to worry and focus on nothing or nobody but you. And she gets treated like a queen, the other woman. So I ask, why do you think? That women are comfortable now playing the role and being 
the outside other woman. This is Donna Smith, and I would love to know what you think about this hot reality question here, grown and sizzling. Please leave a message. Let us know your thoughts. Share something that you may have went through. And if you would like to send me an email, dgrier12000. Facebook me, Donna Smith. Twitter me, Miss Lady D111. And find me on YouTube under Donna Smith, aka Lady D. I will be waiting to hear from you. Good night.